So I set up a rather complicated jig, but from my first attempt at stapling all these things together, I think it's really ne really necessary. It's very difficult to push the slats down and staple them on there without it getting a little cockeyed or or not uh, getting down tight. So with this, I'm just setting the main uprights in place. I marked out where each of the slats are going to go. So I'm just going to take a dab of glue, put a little dab for each slat. And then I take all the slats and place them down. Now I've got a stapler with some inch and a quarter staples in them. And I can use that to secure. Okay, hopefully that worked. Yep, I did not staple them together. Okay, nice and tight on the edges. Excellent. So one long side is done. Alright, so I've made some additional updates to my jig and thankfully the side fits nicely inside of the other side. So the pieces that I already made from the jig as it was, they will slip in. Gotta make sure I, I'm putting the the top in first. You gotta keep the orientation the same. I don't have any marks lined up for these, but I just had to line them up with the slats that are already there. Okay, basic structure is done. Now I gotta work on the bottoms. Okay, I've got the jig back out again because I'm actually gonna use this to um, put together the bottom. And I'm switching out the staples for a three quarter inch long staple. And that's because I'm gonna be stapling the feet. to the bottom. I'm just going to line this up and staple together. Okay, so the staples themselves didn't poke through. They just shot the wood out. I just poke pieces of wood out. All right, that'll be fine. It won't. It won't scuff any surface I put it on. I just need to make sure I sand this. Okay, and I'm going to shoot some inch and a quarter inch staples into the corners. Drive them into the posts. And then I'm going to shoot a couple of three quarter inch ones around the edge. All right, I'll hopefully I didn't poke through. No? All right, all looks good. 
crate is done. Now I just need to cut for the handle holes. So I made another template. This one will hook on to the edge. At least it's supposed to. If I actually do the spacing right. Okay. And this is to route out the handles. Okay, I've swapped out the straight pattern cutting bit for an eighth inch round over. Okay. 